Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. I know that I am not as consistent with this series as I am with my Paper Mario series currently. Uh, this is because now I run a full-time job and it's hard to balance time between things. To be honest, I haven't touched Paper Mario since June 13th. So today being July 13th, a whole month later, means that I'm really falling behind, but that's why I batch record things. Okay. Okay, so while we have things going, we have 10 locks. We can build three. Yeah. I say yes. Excellent. Now, I'm not using any of these other pieces, but for the sake of trying to boost yeah. my proficiency, might as well build something. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we got two notes. I still want to get some of those other stats boosted. Oh, that's right. I was trying to figure out the dude. The mafia guy. I've got a job. Another psychic breakdown. So, we meet again. My what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Matarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? A criminal, I would think. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? No, oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. So Akechi is really against the Phantom Thieves because he doesn't understand that it has to be a unanimous decision on whether or not the person oh, is a criminal. Real? We didn't get anything. God, they suck. Then we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. Yes, it does. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. What about the media? That's right. What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about her. Didn't she give you her card? The business card of Ichiko Oya. 
Uh, Maya Sa newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? This is an interesting twist. Hey. You've been coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. Like the ones being dragged into things. Okay, so we could chat with Shoji. Oh. What else do we got? Ah, uh, this is no longer reliable. I didn't know I could rotate the map a little bit. That's cool. And no one else wants to go anywhere. Okay. Uh, guts. Where can I go for guts? Maybe the gym? Charm. Batting cages for proficiency, but I'm already three. That, oh, wait, I can do charm simply by here. Uh, but it's been a while since I've chatted. You got time right now? I don't think my bond has deepened just yet. Okay. So Next time, then. Decline. Let's do a coffee. Oh. I love the smell of good coffee. And not, I yes. personally don't. Right. It's a bit too bitter. Like it's thick. Gentleman's charm. <laughs> okay, he's gonna take a test. This smoothness. This is Hawaiian Kona. Let me explain. A Hawaiian treat because of the rarity and price of Kona beans. A Kona blend only needs to contain 10% Kona beans. A 100% Kona bean Kona coffee roast is ex quite expensive. Good Kona coffee is known to have a rich flavor, bright acidity, and complex aroma. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> he really likes the Hawaiian bland. Blend. Hawaiian bland. Makoto. I received a call from school today. They were asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a subtle enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. They're unforgivable. Oh. 
Oh, I'm a Toto. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left. Man, yeah, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must also consider that we do it do in case she fails to respond entirely. Don't jinx this. I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Aren't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problems, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> well then. We'll just have to wait for any word. Let's just prepare the plan in the meantime. Sorry to bother you while you are expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school, and so, after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh, right! I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like he had anything to do with the Mafia which we've been chasing. Indeed. Now I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. It's freaking crazy. Someone involved in that goes to your school. Nice going. You even found the name for, of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. All we have to do now is push a mementos. This burglar guy isn't going to be near as scary as the Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a phantom thief really is about. It seems we are unanimous then. We can further discuss this detail in the hideout. We've got our target. Oh yeah. There's something going on with Kawak. Tommy, wasn't there something involving Chono? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. She's probably still at the school, right? Three messages. I can see it. Oh no. Track is back. Uh, decide later. Okay, uh, if talking to the person that I need to doesn't advance time, we will hang out with Yusuke. Do you think it's uh, dangerous? He's too pretty to be wrong. I need... 
I'd have to cancel status. As I've been saying, get home safely. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished uh, yet. So... But I... There have been a series of scandals on this con campus. We're all being called into question. And yet you leave work early than anyone. And you barely make it to faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out around running around mm. at night. Getting grilled. She said she'd do anything if we helped her out. So let's clear up the chono. The school's closing soon. Head on home before it gets late. Or did you need something? I have a question for her. What? Uh, uh -huh. Oh, you have another question. Another question? That's right. <laughs> Ravenos can... Questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours. Hmm. What passion! You are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need in this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well, then keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. She just kind of convinced herself. But that did clear up her suspicions, so thanks. Could you come with me for a bit? I can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night job. Call me at night and request request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up on your call history though, okay? Hey! You did it! No call history means a public telephone. Let's call from LeBlanc's yellow phone. Let's call Kawakami when you're free and invite her to meet you at your room. Well. I have to go. Okay, so that didn't take time. What is this person doing? What a relief. It looks like that home wrecking <laughs> isn't around here. After that artist, though, those phantom thieves might come back and steal Ikesugi-kun's heart. If they come, I'll show them no mercy. I'll make them bleed. It'll be a bloodstorm. Giggle. Someone's a little obsessed. Anyway, so the Kawakami one didn't take a plan. So let's uh, go right away. Hello. Yuzuki. The station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? I came to see you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that's yeah, your decision. I, I would like to speak to you. Do you have time? Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned I need mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I'm having a hard time grasping it. How would I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? What should I paint to capture the content of the heart? A dream world. The abyss held within one's unconsciousness? I see! Mementos! The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on okay. things. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Oh. This distorted realm, teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart, the same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri, can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now, regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I, in that other dimension, I saw the perversion of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. 
That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush had been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Considered such intense questions only served to distance me from reality. Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? What's the matter? Have you been overcome by the urge to paint? Give me your brush. Please, do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Mm, the lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> yes, inspiration has struck. That must be it, such brilliant <laughs> composition. Oh, my heart races. Hmm. How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow. Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Five of them. Now, is this the one that is weak to ice, fire, and wind? I think I have one that does fire and wind now, don't I? Yes. Archangel. Ooh, Maguru is cheaper. Or cheaper. Talk. Lend me your power. Me not want to talk to you. Me just want to hear your screams. Let's go. I think I just finished it. Oh, a new blank card. Sweet. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. What are you talking about? I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Oh, that's right. I did go to a exhibit for Van Gogh paintings, and it did mention a brother. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. I'm gonna say thanks. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? It's the blank card the shadows dropped. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Uh, what? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... Recarm. My picture... Turned into a real skill card? That's an amazing power. Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the Thebes we are and strike a deal? Let's do it. It's a deal then. And hold on, I thought I already had his him as a confidant. Why am I going back to the future? Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. Huh. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. 
Wait, I didn't actually have him as a confidant? I thought I did. It shall become with the birth of the Emperor Persona. Huh. To duplicate skill cards. All right. You can now ask Yusuke to use his duplication ability to make you copies of skill cards. To copy a skill card, give Yusuke a blank card and the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. The blank card will be transformed to create a new skill card. Yusuke will return both the new and original cards to you. Blank cards can be obtained from searching objects in mementos. Try to find as many as you can. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. Okay. That's still so weird that he wasn't a confidant already. I'm in your debt. Thank you for all your assistance today. You've helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. I must say I've never expected my art skill would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. I have to hold up my end of the deal so I'll perform to the best of my abilities. You need only ask. Thanks. Dang it. I should be the one thanking you. Without your help I could not have finished today's piece. Now we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. For the first time in a long time, my brush will dance again. See you. Farewell. Okay, so requesting a tip on Yusuke. How often should I visit him? Because... Oh, and does visiting Yusuke pass time? The journalist responded to me. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Will you be my escort? Where did you learn about those kinds of things? Anyway, Shinjuku is a nightlife district full of temptation. Brace yourself. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by, Anne. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies, I don't have the money to take a train there. Then you're on standby too. Me and Eden will go, okay? Got it. If Eden's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. No, I wanted to make a statement. You're in your uniform? Like that. Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Hmm. That's not the issue! Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! The ticket gate on the really right. Is this really going to be okay? You sure? Yeah, you didn't say that. You said it was on the right. This one. Yeah. 
Oh, we pass through Shinjuku all the time. All right. We can now go to Shinjuku. And this is why I like mementos. I've made lots of money. Money. Money, money, money. Whoa. Even at night, this place is bright. I guess that's Shinjuku for ya. Hey. Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa. I was just trying to find the place we're looking for. Crossroads, bars, right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we just keep going straight. Welcome to our Izakaya. Welcome to our Izakaya. How about some all you can drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you're underage? Is that a problem? So you're just a kid. Get out of here. You're in the way. You're the one who is wanting to talk to us. Hey man, you want to come play? Touch all you want. No added fees. We have the cutest girls in town. I'm not interested. I'll make it cheap. What do you say? Just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. Do you have a moment? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. College student. Oh, yeah. We're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? Oh, shit. Now, you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run! How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Says the person who couldn't have just gone without wearing his uniform. E excuse me. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Um, by the way... Ah, uh, Ryuji, you ruin things all the time. Okay. Crossroads. I think I'd just oh, go here. Man. We ain't we old enough to hang, hang out here. here. You sure this is yeah, the place? Whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. Just wait outside. I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? This is actually really cool. I love when games have this kind of character behind the bar, Lala. Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Couldn't it just be like juice Ugh, juice? She reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Why Shibuya is dangerous. Oh. Why that? I need intel on their boss. Hmm. 
Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. It seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I know someone. It's a deal, then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theater, so head on over. It's kinda open area. You passed on the way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? Oh, there's the theater. There's Ryuji. Hey! Tired of waiting, you got any dirt? For real? Junya Kaneshiro. Hey! Not so loud. Junya Kaneshiro and enter. All right. There we go. Now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Let's try it tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. I'll tell everyone to meet in Shibuya. It's crazy though. I'm getting pumped. He would be a natural, but a graphic tee with plaid pants, ugh, kill me now. Uh, and how are you? Oh, he has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of heaven. And I'm Julian, Julie, if you feel saucy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into a drag scene. I know we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We saw you picking into Crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them we were investigating or something. Can't blow our cover. The mission's over. We don't have to... We don't have a cover anymore. Oh, honey, you got the sh uh, cutspa and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. 
we're gonna put a, your name in lights, and I know you're just the dress for you. Oh my gosh. Um... Hopefully Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here. Let's head home for the night. That reminds me of the Final Fantasy VII situation, which reminds me, I may do Final Fantasy VII's remake and rebirth series in the coming future. I love Final Fantasy, and the opportunity to showcase that, well, it's pretty good. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure out figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. <sighs> Shinjuku sure was crazy. Some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? She said she's interested in me. What's this about? And what kind of girl is Oya-san? Is she cute or is she hot? Definitely hot. For real? You're not pulling my leg, right? Oh, hot. Oya-san. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Is this really what I think it could? It is? Could it be? You'll find out. Man, I'm so looking forward to this. This is all thanks to you. I feel like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You'll introduce, you introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'm to and I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. No book. Let's do now, study what do you for knowledge. Do? Make sure you close up. Wow. <laughs> Two points to knowledge. Oh, that's already up at three. Mm. I need to figure out. Oh wait, kindness is the cleaning of the floors. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I, I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. Ah, oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? A bank. I see. Candidate found. Okay, that's a hit. So... He thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? 
palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Here we go. I was not expecting this, actually. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. Well, that is going to have to take place in the next episode. I... This is astonishing. I'm... I'm awestruck by this dungeon. Anyways, if you guys liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash the like button. Subscribe if you have not for more Persona 5 Royal content. In the next episode, we're going to start walking down the streets of Shibuya and try to find this mysterious bank that Kaneshiro believes is his... Uh, personal base. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Later!